How's everyone doing today? So we got another video today. A little car review for you guys today. Actually, it's a truck review that's kind of popular on the channel right now. We're trying to get everything, make it diverse. But anyway, so today we have a 2017 Toyota Tacoma Limited. So the Limited is a little bit different than usually what you see with the Tacomas. It is actually like the luxury version. So it has leather seats and everything on it. I like the door on that. That actually felt really good to open. It's got the push button start. It's got the JBL speakers. Um, it's actually got it has heated seats too. It's got the wireless charger. It's got everything really. Like honestly, like I've never really looked at Tacomas with leather seats, and honestly, this thing is really comfy. I'd, I'm liking it so far. We were being this is JP. This is the owner of the vehicle right here. So we were just talking about right here how the front of the vehicle. So this is like the third gen body style. You said it was like two and a half gen or something like that. So it's like the two point five gen. We're talking about how much better this like this front end looks than any of the other Tacomas because it's just so aggressive and it looks so good especially with these LED headlights with that has on it I think that they look great and everything like that so this has all the safety package everything like that so it does have the blind spot monitoring if you'll see that little thing right there it'll flash when someone's in your blind spot which is very safe and nice to have got the little five foot bed right here just in case you do need to haul something in your mid-sized truck and then you get the little outlet over there. The outlet's cool, honestly, like if you're going like to the drive-ins or something like that, you just wanna plug something in real quick. Um, I'm gonna go in the driver's seat and show you guys what it looks like from the driver's point of view. So, this is the, right in here. Honestly, I like it a lot. It's got very low miles on this on this one. He got it from his brother, actually. He used to have a, you had an SI, right? Yeah, the SI. It was a ninth gen? Yeah, ninth gen. Ninth gen. Yeah, he, came, he went from a ninth gen Toyota Civic SI and we live in reno it has a tendency of snow here so my man said i have to get a truck yeah, basically truck. yeah he said i have to get a truck and that's what happened Can all this right here too. yeah i'll start real quick push button start that feels really nice does that have a good sound to it mm -hmm. you cool if i rev it up has a good sound to it could use an exhaust but you know it's on stock right now He's got some plans for it. We'll talk about that when we start driving and stuff. Uh, yeah, we can hop in the car real quick. We go for a little drive real quick. So let's go like this. So does it, is that like a sport mode right there then? It's like a manual, like, you know, the six speed. How does it work? Is it good? Like, does it actually work good? Yeah, if you put it there, put it to the it. left. I'll, I'll give it a try out. We'll see how it goes first. Is it is it kind of quick for a six cylinder truck? Yeah, it's kind of quick for a six cylinder truck. Doesn't, well, these can't weigh that much, though, huh? Nope. I like the steering wheel. I honestly, I, I like the nine and uh, three. Piece. It has a heated uh, steering wheel too. Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah I got one of those. In my car's so great. <laughs> it's so nice, isn't yep. it? For winter, yeah, yeah it's pretty good. It's, it's great. So, how you've driven this? Like you've had this in winter so far, right? Yeah. How is it in the snow? It's pretty good in the snow, but you know when it's like icy. Yeah, it kind of just skids hill. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all the tires, honestly. Yeah. If I get the um, the bigger tires, I think that'll be better. Yeah. So tell me, tell us a little bit about your plans with the truck. Well, my plan is just to customize the front and then like get a roof rack, and then probably get some bed rack as well. But I don't know yet since the the payment is kind of like steep for this car, which is like eight hundred dollars. So I'm just waiting. Yeah, pay the price you when you want a car. Yep. <laughs> Oh, it honestly does pick up very well. Yeah. I like how it has the digital gauge, too. Those are cool. I wish I had one of those. It has the digital and then the... And then it has the direct yes. attack right there. Yep. Which is cool. So, how often do you have to fill up this car? Well, this um, if you drive it daily, it's like a week and a half. It's not too bad. It's like $60 if it's if the gas is like 3 bucks, you know? But mm -hmm. now it's like 45 yes, for 50 right It's amazing right now. Yep. It's a great time to be alive. <laughs> You're also, not wrong. Like, with this truck, honestly, I so my car, like I have the buttons, like to like constantly, like like to hold it and to get the temperature up. Mm -hmm. I like how it's just like the dial. I yep. just think that's so much more satisfying. It's and better. It's so much more convenient to turn up the temperature. And you get the feel of it too. Yeah, I, I don't. I like it a lot better. I think it's cool. You have the heated seats in here. The heated seats work good. Yep, works really good. It has the buttons right there. Uh -huh. It has this um, high medium and then low mm -hmm. and if you want to just turn it off you can click cool. that it has a sound system in it i can't oh, really pretty good because of youtube you know how that is but yeah the jbl sounds pretty good pretty
pretty good. I mean, if you want to hear it, and then just. <laughs> yeah, we can. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Um, has a good bass in it. So, if there's anything in this car that what do you don't what don't you like about it? Um, honestly, the, the only thing that I don't like about it is it's automatic. Really? <laughs> I'd want a manual for this. To be honest with you, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to have a manual on these. Yeah. They still make them too. But it's kind of rare to like it's see very those. Rare. Yeah. They cost. It's weird how manuals co they cost extra now. Yep. It's just funny. And uh, what do you love about the car? Like, what's your uh, what's your favorite things about it? Oh uh, well, it's four wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing about it. And then um, uh, the space inside. Yeah, you go from Pacific, so this is a definitely a big upgrade. In <laughs> yeah, space big department. upgrade in the space department. <laughs> See, I, I have a Yukon, so uh, this would be a mm -hmm. downgrade my space department. But mm -hmm. no, this is from coming from a Civic. This is probably like, yeah, I, we can take my car, like, it, 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 and you don't gotta like nobody's cramped or, like really the back seat or anything. Like yeah, that like, you don't have to hide or anything like that. You could just like sit exactly. comfortably. Exactly. Then on the Civic, it's not really the most. Com was it a four seater or a five seater? It's a four seater. Oh yeah. So it's two buckets in the back. Yeah. That's cool. Though. That's cool. And the headlights on this is super bright. Mm -hmm. It's very bright at night, especially. Yeah, I got LED. I had to buy LEDs on my Buick, and it, they're great. They just they help so much. Yep. So it has automatic headlights and everything. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, it has the daytime runners too. Yep. But um, yeah, it drives like a truck. <laughs> Love it. <Yeah. laughs> Love it. That's I what I'm trucks. It has a wireless charger down there too, which is cool. Yep. Like for iPhones, you know, or yeah. well, anything, anything really, yeah, yeah anything they all use the same, it's just cheap wireless charging. But uh, yeah, the, I like the how's the infotainment on here? Any complaints about that? Is it nah, easy to use? It's, it's very easy to use. The Bluetooth is pretty easy to like connect to. Uh -huh. Does it have CarPlay too? Then, yeah, has CarPlay? Oh, what was that? Has Apple? Does it have Apple CarPlay? Uh, no, I don't think so. Have that. Let me check real quick. I can't haven't really. <laughs> you said I haven't really looked into I it. I haven't honestly. really looked into it. That's got Pandora and stuff. That's yeah. cool. Though. I mean, I, it's not too bad. CarPlay's cool, but you gotta plug your phone into those, so it's like all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Bluetooth, but it's not. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, so you have no complaints about the car. Nope. You love. So you would say you love it. You love your. You love it. This truck. Yeah, I love this truck. You love this truck a lot, huh? And it's got low miles on it. I mean, it's like twenty three. Twenty three thousand miles. So brand new. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's still new. I mean. I look at the inside. Yeah, like, it's, it's look, very, if you just want to show them around the inside, like, I mean. It's very roomy, you know. It has a compartment. The when AC you pull this. Is very nice. Yep. I think it has one on the back, too, I believe. Wait, Hello. actually, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, I mean, I, I can feel the AC, and, like, it's not even blowing really hard. Yeah. It's, it's nice. Um, it's just, obviously, the Toyota reliability, like you said, you've had no issues with the vehicle. Yep, and then it has a sunroof, which is a plus, too. Yeah. As are, uh, uh, these luxury items like are, are kind of hard to find. It also down. has this for these, for sunglasses. These I don't even have that in my car. I, wish I, had <laughs> I had my old truck I had one, and I wish my new one does. But you know how that goes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very roomy. I Probably like gonna it. take this too on uh, to Tahoe this Tuesday. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good it's a good Tahoe rig, huh? Yeah. I love it. I love it. So yeah, your goal is to make a. Is it kind of like a show truck vibe, or are you going for kind of like a pur purpose built vehicle? Oh, uh, like a show truck vibe, you know? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Like, I want to do, uh, like, what my plan is for this is just like, you know, a camper truck, you know? Oh, yeah. Like an overland kind of thing? Yeah, over those things, but. Go long distance and uh, just have some fun out in the ca camping and shit. Yep. That's fun, dude. Like, uh, it's just a good, it's a, make it a good truck that you can just have a good time at home. Mm hmm. Yeah. Especially if you're growing up, you come from like, you know, like you want fast cars as a young, you yeah. know? And then as you grow up, you just want to like, guess, get the most out of the car. Yeah. So. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. That's what hey, I, I really want. I really want a fast car, but we also live in a place that snows, so I have a, <laughs> so a four-wheel drive. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just bought the grill for it too, like a, like a brand new one. Yeah, you said that the one with the Tacoma, that's yeah. to, that says Tacoma right now, right? Mm-hmm, the matte black one. I like those ones a lot. They look so much better, I think, in my opinion. I'm not a, I'm not a chrome guy, personally. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you are, but I personally just, I'm not, not the biggest fan of chrome. Yeah, I don't really like chrome. <laughs> Chrome's all right. I mean, it's not It all depends on people, you know? It's not my favorite, but I mean, you can like chrome. That's no big deal to me. But you just, like, I like the steering wheel in here. I know it's a very generic steering wheel that uh, mm -hmm. Toyota has, but uh, 
it, it honestly feels good because I've I mean I've driven the four runners too and uh, mm -hmm. it feels like the nine and three position on these is really good. Uh, the buttons feel good. You the cruise control, has cruise control. I mean it's got everything really. Got everything. Does it have the uh, uh, adaptive cruise control for now? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. I know the newer ones have that. The newer I ones. I don't know uh, if this one did or not. And yeah, I mean it's got everything really like. And it's it's a you can charge your phone right there like come on yeah I could just put it right there and then it's charging. Do you, do you use it all the time? Yeah, especially like when it's a long drive when I go to San Francisco or something like that. Yeah. I'd do you have family there. out there or something? Uh no, like just when my visit. yeah I have friends out there. That's cool. That's so cool. Just visit them. Let's go visit everybody. Yep. In the truck, the brakes are oh my that, those brakes are good. Yeah. Really <laughs> touchy. I didn't like I was like oh we're stopping okay. <laughs> I was probably I was just. Slightly, slightly pressing on them, and uh, I guess we were gonna go to the whole time. Well, that's pretty. It's pretty good brakes. The brakes are nice. I'm just gonna get right here. If you want as well, you could put it on this, like this one right here. Yeah, I'm gonna try this real quick. We're gonna do a little. Uh, we'll see you, quick, you can see the gears on the. We'll see how quick it goes. Oh, it picks up, dude. Yeah. It picks up for being a fucking <laughs> truck. Sorry, excuse my language. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, it picks up though. It does. I did not expect that. I really did not expect that. That's what I like about it. It kind of gives me that feel of a manual. Yeah, it gives that feel. I was in the, one of these the other day, actually. Uh, one of the people I work with, uh, they mm -hmm. have one of these. And I saw them doing that, and I was like, oh, and the Tacoma. Okay. <laughs> it's cool. They're cool. Yeah, I like it. So you could just put it like that and then put it on automatic again. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because you can just cruise. Like, uh, I get my, my truck's a. It's a column shifter yeah it has a little button on it. it doesn't work as solid as that that it shifts yeah when you want it to too that's the cool part about it like it's a truck but i mean you can still have that option to be mm -hmm. in a sporty mode right here and you're just like put in six you can just like get the most of your mileage and everything like that yeah because i know with some of the vehicles like it doesn't really do the best on going to the, to the highest gear to get the best mileage mm -hmm. so you can kind of just manipulate it yourself and that's really cool that you can do that um what's the fastest you ever got this thing up to in mexico in what? In Mexico, what's the fastest you've gone to? Like, uh, 120, I believe. You got 120. No, I'm just kidding. Just 110. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the fastest I've gone to it. But I haven't really tried it out. Does it like govern off or no? Nah. Oh, cause mine. So mine, like, I'll like in my Yukon, I'll be gassing it right, mm -hmm. and then it'll like I'll be hit 100. It's still picking up pretty fast, and it hits 105, and it just stops because the governor. Yeah. It's yeah. But this one keeps going. Like you can feel cool. it, but then. I haven't really like tried the limit for this car, mm -hmm. or for this truck. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean it's not really for that. Yeah. But, I mean you'll find out one day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I do that, if you like the cars, gas goes from this to this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean you wouldn't be on, you wouldn't be wanting to do this video right now if you weren't gonna find out. One. Yeah. If you were the guy who wanted to find out one day, that would be that. That's just how it is. But I mean yeah, it's even got heated seats in here. The steering wheel is heated. Like the heated steering wheel is like. One of the most underrated things. Mm -hmm. It's a must for every truck, I believe. Bro. Especially in the winter days. Yes, it is. Because, like, I don't under, like, you never realize how nice it is. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that you don't realize how nice it is until you have it. And then you're just like, I never want to not have it again. Mm -hmm. that's, how it, that's how it is for me. <laughs> I just never want to not have a car without it yet. But I probably will. <laughs> probably, like, the only thing that I want to do with this car, too, is uh, the push start. Like you know the not not that but like with the oh, remote remote, remote start? Yeah, yeah remote start. Yeah, yeah. I was I'm gonna at. ask if you had one that I raptor because I know my my Yukon has it. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. It's nice to have honestly. I feel so, like it would be better. And the Yukon, the other side of like having like the non knobs thing mm -hmm. is it's a digital. So it's that the fact that it's digital mm -hmm. means when you remote start it, it turns the AC and everything on according to how nice it is outside. Mm -hmm. So I'll turn the heater on like with the with all the heated seats if it's like super cold outside. Yeah, which is cool. But yeah, I don't know. It gets cold in here, you know. So yeah, it gets cold. I mean, it's just leather, man. It gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> it gets cold. Yeah, <laughs> it gets cold. You just gotta remember to, if you get through my start, you gotta remember to leave your heater on. Yeah. Right. Because like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so the do you like the man? There's nothing you don't like about that system. <laughs> it's disappointing sadly actually really cool that like i mean that you love your car like mm -hmm. i mean not everybody has the the opportunity the opportunity you know? to have a car that they just love that really, that which is really cool that you drive this you're really proud of it and everything like that mm -hmm. which is really cool i mean uh yeah 
Is there how's the space in here? Like you never ran, really like ran out of cargo room or anything like that. No. Nah. Have you had to put any, Have you ever had to use the bed yet? No, I haven't used it. Well, I've used it for a couch. No, you got a couch. Yeah, I got a couch. I was like leather. So um, we put it back there, but then it wasn't too big, you know, because mm -hmm. some of the trucks are like long beds, you know. Yeah, I but had to, at my couch, I had to use my uncle's eight foot bed truck. Yeah, this one's just like five foot bed truck. So it's kind of hard to put like the long items yeah. in the back. This is like if you need to put like if you like, I mean, you can like tow a boat with it or something like that. Like, yeah. Not, like it's a, it's a mid-sized truck. It's not meant to like, you're not going to tow like your big ass trailer with this or anything. Like, yeah. You're just going to, you're going to use it for around the house things. Not like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just, it, you got you use the utility aspect too, which is cool. I mean, there's another one right there actually. I think that was a limited. Yeah. <laughs> I don't actually see <laughs> a red one. Much. Yeah, it was a red one. Uh, do you like the, you like the color on this one too? Yeah, very the much tan. like it. Yeah. So what's the actual color name for it? Do you know? Uh, quicksand. Quicksand. That's cool. I know a lot of companies try to do like the, the like it's just a color and they make it something else. Yeah, one of them was like desert tan. Something desert like tan. That. Yeah, that's what I thought this one was. Desert <laughs> tan or something like that. I don't know. But it's a quick sand for it. I like how it even has a good sound system too. I mean, mm -hmm. from the factory, it's hard to find a. You have to usually pay extra for that. So. Yep. You don't even need like the what do you call those? The subs or anything. Yeah, the subs for it. Yeah, that's what mine is because like, mine has the bows in it, so that's pretty nice. Uh, JBL is pretty good brand. JBL is really good. I mean, Toyota has a good deal with them, so. Yeah. Imagine if it was Beats. Right. <laughs> I know. That, actually, you can get a Dodge Charger with Beats in it. Really? Yeah. There's so like there's some few dark chargers. I was actually in one um like a month ago that it had Beats audio mm -hmm. in it. It was actually pretty cool. Um, it's just super bass heavy. Yeah. Uh, just like every Beats are. So the, you like the cup holder, uh, cup holders and everything in here. Mm hmm It has two right there. And the two right and here. And yeah, two right there. Some in the back too. Or no? Has some in the back as well. And then it's pretty roomy on this one too. So everyone's always comfy in here. Yep. Cool. One cool. time I fell asleep in the back. Hey. I just needed a pill, p pillow and then I fell asleep right there. Yeah, man. I mean, between classes or something like that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said you work two jobs. It's like you don't want to go home every time. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Yeah. So uh, so you said you want to do the, bump, the bumper on this. The bumper, the roof rack, the the bed rack. The bed rack is cool because you can put all like the hydro packs on those and everything. Like you said, when you go camping, you can mm -hmm. you can really hold all your gear in it, which is. I know you're an outdoorsy kind of guy, so that would help you out a lot. Yep. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing I can say anything bad about this truck. Like, if you're buying, you got it, and it like it suits all your needs, so it's great. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing more that I need. Yeah, this, exactly. So. It's good that you bought a car, knowing it's going to suit your needs. Like you're like, I want four wheel drive because it snows here, and it, it it sucks to drive in a car without all wheel drive or four wheel drive mm -hmm. in this. Especially in Reno. <laughs> yeah, even front wheel drive is not the greatest, and front wheel drive is like pretty good in snow mm -hmm. but you don't is that a focus rs i believe i think oh, it's just SD. focus yeah or fiesta i don't know i don't know those cars that much <laughs> I, don't, I think i want to oh, there's some cars i've look, been looking at to buy but i just don't know what i want to get yet but this truck i like this truck a lot mm -hmm. um well you'll probably see jp in a few more videos because he's got some other cars we're probably gonna video on the ninth on that ninth gen civic we're talking about Yep, and, maybe to bring the, here. and maybe this other car uh, we'll talk about that one uh, when you see it that'll be a fun one won't right. it, won't it? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah that one will be fun especially oh, the, I the Civic turn, I went to go turn the key and uh, <laughs> it's the push button I've never had that before that's cool man I'll take that real quick right. so my review of this car I mean, I mean if you're looking for a mid-sized truck I, I haven't really driven that many I mean I know there's a Jeep Gladiator and everything like that but I mean, I wouldn't say not to get this Coma because it's it's really a great. Uh, it's, sorry, sorry for saying that, but it's really a great mid-sized truck. Like it's not that small. The rear car, the rear legroom. Like I'll sit back here. I'll show you guys what it's like. I mean, so I am about. This is the seats all the way back right here. Yeah, it's all the way back. So all the way back. Like I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't be in any pain or anything, but this one's not all this. But how many times are people really gonna sit like that? There you go. I mean, this isn't bad right here, but when it's all the way back, I mean, I would I would prefer not for it not to be all the way back, but I'm sure you can ask the person in front of you to not make it all the way back. But I mean, it's a mid-sized truck. You can't complain that much. It's, it's supposed to be a small truck. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not meant for the big No, it's not meant for everyone that's really big like that. So if you're a guy who is like 5'9", and you, or a woman, 
and you want a truck like this that you want to go like overlanding it's got a backup camera i mean it's got all the sensors and everything it's a great truck if that i would totally recommend this i mean i'm typically not a bit my toyota spokesperson because i don't really like it that much but i like this truck actually a lot uh, i just like cars though so i mean oh it's even got a little foot i think it's got the foot step right here too that's actually pretty cool i'm on my full fox i was at the lake all day today but well the pool so that's actually pretty cool right there so i'll see you guys in the next video this, I had a great time doing this video today. I hope I'll see you guys soon. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And have a beautiful day.